Judah. You Judah. Okay, so you know you Judah. So do you, do you, he got me up there. You see, Jew is just short for the word Judah. That's where the word Jew comes from, from the tribe of Judah. Is that gonna happen or is that not gonna happen? It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. So when we come out here, we let our brothers know, hey, what you doing? You doing it wrong. You gotta change this. If you doing this, that's that's good. Keep doing that. So on and so forth. We not saying that just because we wanna come out here and just tell y'all what to do. We giving y'all a warning from God. Listen. Nobody wants to see their brothers and sisters being put to death. We see that every day on the news. Read it out, huh? Read, read what you got. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The conclusion of the whole matter. How you doing, boss man? So this is the conclusion of the whole matter. The reason why the, why man and woman is put on earth. The whole, yo, what is your purpose in life? We about to read it out of the Bible. Watch this. Watch this. Fear God and keep his commandments. He said, fear God and keep his commandments. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. You ain't got nothing else to do. Tell people how we fear God. Though. How we gonna fear God? Sirach 2 and 15. Keep reading, watch this. So this is the This is the whole duty of man. The whole duty of man. Keep reading. For God shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. Caso, Caso. Watch this again, sis. Jada, watch this again. So the whole duty of man, what's the whole duty of man? Yeah, what's the whole duty of man? Your whole purpose. What did it just say? Say that again. So man, fear God and keep the commandments. Now keep reading on. Alright, so watch this. We're gonna keep reading on. Read. For God shall bring every work into judgment. God shall bring every work into judgment. Meaning, the things that you're doing right now, he's gonna judge that at a point in time. Read. With every secret thing. Uh, every secret thing. So the things that you're doing behind closed doors. He, hey, exactly. The most high eyes is everywhere. Read. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. So whether it be good according to the laws of God or evil contrary to the laws of God. So if you're doing things that are contrary to the laws of God, there is a judgment for that. Don't think that what we're seeing right now isn't a judgment for the things, the evil things that a lot of people are doing. For the Israelites, the Israelites that are going to come out of this Egypt, out of this captivity, that's going to be a judgment for the good things. We're going to get delivered because of the good things we are doing in this captivity. But for the ones that are not going to be saved out of this uh, captivity, the ones that's getting put to death, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that's getting put to death day after day after day, it's because they getting judged right, for the evil works. In. That's right. Say that again. Remember he grafted them in and gave them a chance. Grafted who in? God grafted other people inside the Israelites. What other people? You know, Ezekiel 37. But the people that's not the Israelites, he gave them a chance. Where is that at? Through the blood of Jesus to be able to come. I know, but where is that at in the Bible? In Acts. In Acts? I know, watch the Acts 5 and 31. Give me Acts 5 and 31, then hold that. Say he no, hey, listen. So this is a miss, a huge misconception, a misunderstanding. One second, I got you. It's a huge misunderstanding, Caso and Jada, that God grafted in all other nations. God did not graft in all other nations with Jesus Christ. Christianity and Catholicism teaches that. The Bible does not teach that. Christianity also teaches a Caucasian Jesus Christ. That is not in the Bible. Who did he grab in? It says in there. We're gonna show you. First, give me what you got. Yeah, give me, yeah, give me Matthew 15, 21. They are not, they are Gentiles. So listen, I'm gonna get listen to me carefully. The, the Christianity doctrine, white folks that enslaved us and oppressed us and changed our names. No, 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 listen, listen, listen to what I'm saying. They teach us that all nations are grafted in. That is a lie. 
drafted. When you read the Bible. I'm not saying all nations drafted, but people was drafted. Yeah, you're right. So whichever people he talked about, I'm going to show you. We're going to show you. Exactly. Now read what you got. This is the book of Matthews, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent. So this is Christ. Christ is speaking to a woman of another nation that came up to him. He told, she kept on bugging him, said, hey, give me a blessing, give me a blessing. My daughter is sick, bless her. Yeah. Christ answered to her and said what? But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What did Christ just say to her? So he said, I'm only here for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm only here for the Israelites. Give me Hosea 4. Acts, yeah, Acts, let me give me Acts again. So we're going to read this. That was in the New Testament. He told another nation, we, I'm only here for the Israelites. Read. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. They were having a disagreement at this time. The Pharisees, Sadducees, and then the followers of Christ. They say, yo, stop teaching Jesus Christ on the street. We don't believe that he's the Messiah. Peter and John said, hey, we ought to obey God rather than men. We're going to do what our Lord and Savior and Most High told us to do. We're going to teach Christ in the forgiveness of sin. And we're going to teach it to the ones that scattered off the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read. The God of our fathers. The God of who? Our fathers. Uh -huh. Raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Uh -huh. Him have God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince and a savior uh -huh. for to give repentance to, to Israel. No, to the whole world. To Israel. To all the other nations. To Israel. So God raised up his son, Jesus Christ, to give repentance and remissions of sin, meaning you can change your ways, come back to follow the laws, and you're going to be right with the Most High. He gave that to the Israelites through his son, Jesus the Christ. Right. In the Bible, Hosea 4 and 17. You I'm going to show you the grafted in part. Are you understand where we going, sis? How you doing, big bro? We teaching our people who we are. I'm going to show you that. We're going to show you that. So Hosea 4 and 17. So watch this. Watch this. Because if you got to be grafted in, that means you are the same stock. Because even when you look up plants, you can't graft an orange, a orange uh, uh, into an apple. It's, if they two totally different families, you can't graft them into a tree. Because it's, it's talking about like wood and grafting wood onto another piece of wood. It has to be of the same family. You can't split stuff. You can't graft things, things that are different families. He's giving a similar to. But they are the same stock. They are the same family. We're going to prove that. Watch this. Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. Ephraim is joined to idols. Uh, Ephraim, look up, look on the sign. Ephraim, who are they today? What's the what's the name right next to Ephraim? Puerto Ricans. So Ephraim is the so-called Puerto Ricans today, and it's on down because it's talking about the Northern Kingdom. Because at one point during the time of King Solomon, he sinned. The most I say, you know, because of Solomon, I'm gonna split up these nations. I'm gonna make a Southern Kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and the northern kingdom, Ephraim on down, which would be... Uh, yeah, so I'll pray. So you, 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 are you married to her? I'm not. Not, not, not to I, I, I'll pray. So we're going we gonna to touch on that. But northern kingdom... Northern kingdom on down is Ephraim. So he said Ephraim, northern kingdom, this nation that I split off into two from one, they have what? Joined to idols. Let him alone. Northern kingdom went into idolatry. Don't deal with them. Let them alone. Don't deal with them. Read. Um, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 15. So what, what in the Romans, Romans 11 or Acts 11 or Acts 10, when they talk about the grafting in, they get this from this chapter in the Old Testament. Watch this. Read. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write it for Judah. So take you one stick. You was talking about the grafting in and write it for Judah. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, southern kingdom. Read. And for the children of Israel, his companions. Uh -huh. So the children of Israel, Judah's companion, are Benjamin and Levi, the ones that were called the southern kingdom. The Jews. Read. In the New, in the New Testament, they're known as the Jews. Read. Then take another stick uh -huh. and write upon it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim. That's Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, northern kingdom. He said, take one stick for the Jew Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and Ephraim, northern kingdom. Read. And for the house of Israel, his companions. Uh -huh. And join them 
one to another until one stick. So join them one to another. What is that called? It's called grafting oh, in. So he has two nations at this time that were two nations, but they were all of the same stock, the house of Israel, because all the people we just named were the sons of Jacob, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, all down. He said, join these two sticks and do what? And they shall become one in thy hand. Uh -huh. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou show us what thou meanest by these? Uh -huh. Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, uh -huh. and the tribe of Israel, his fellows, uh -huh. and I will put them him even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, uh -huh. and they shall be one in mine hand. They shall be what? One in mine hand. Uh -huh. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thy hand before thy, their eyes. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.